Here we go. Yeah. You're in it now. Don't get cocky. I'm ready now. Cool. Have fun with this. Take this. You're gonna be in the world. Let's go. I got this. Right. Here. Check this out. You're gonna get stuck. It's all or nothing. Yeah. You're going in. World of hurt. Should I open it? Got it! Any part of it you can. Yeah, like go for that army swinging everywhere. Good enough for me. Yeah. Have fun with this. Take this. Huh? Right. <gasps> Come on, let's go! I'm 
Should I open it? Got it! Should I open it? Yeah. Sup? Okay.
Who the fuck are you? dead on arrival after being shot on Seiryu clan turf. It was a bloodbath. And the killers got away before the cops even showed up. Sounds like this isn't over by a long shot. Even as we speak, Captain Takabe is taking matters into his own hands with a truck full of Yakuza, all armed to the teeth. Doubt Chairman Hoshino even signed off on it. Tetsu, Koji, they'll answer for your deaths in blood. Probably heading straight for Restaurant Row. Yeah, right into Liumang territory. So, Takabe's heading to Restaurant Row, huh? That's right where the Liu Meng boss has his front. He's basically a lit spark flying into a powder keg. This is ridiculous. How can it be this easy to destroy a years-long truce? Mabuchi's got everyone dancing to his little tune. And he used us to make sure everyone heard it. At least now we know for sure he killed Nonomiya. Yeah. I remember his shit-eating grin as he said that. We still don't know why he did it, though. Yeah... You thinking of something, Adachi-san? Mm, yeah, yeah. Just... something Mabuchi said. I'm trying to remember the exact words. Who cares what that son of a bitch said? Adachi-san, are you wondering if Nonomiya was killed... because of us? What? But we had nothing to do with it. Especially you, Sachan. Yeah, I know it wasn't our fault. It was Mabuchi's. But maybe we were a convenient tool for him to get the war he wanted. I don't know, Sunshine. I mean, we weren't even a blip on it. Wait. Wait, I get it now. You do? Listen, on the surface, it makes no sense for him to kill Monomiya, right? Right. We know his true objective is war with the Seiryu clan. Yeah, that's a given. But he didn't need a reason to start one. He could have just done it. Instead, he used us as an excuse. Why? You tell me, detective. Think about it. If it got out that he was stirring the pot, what would happen? Well, the other organizations would retaliate. Exactly. This is Yokohama, but the Ejin Three have a strict agreement never to invade each other's turf. Dares break that rule would be punished by all three factions. Even if that person is a Liu Meng officer like Mabuchi. So he needed to put the blame on someone besides himself. But why us? Think back to what he said, and it all starts to come together. I was actually starting to worry that no one would water the seeds I planted. But then you showed up, and now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower. He was saying that his master plan was complete. Get it? The seed was Nonomiya's death. We watered it by chasing the murderer. And the video he took to show his boys and get them all riled up. That was the blossoming flower? That's what I'm thinking. Also, I don't think he wanted us in particular. He just needed someone, anyone, to water the seed. Nonomiya died? For that? I don't think there was anything special about Nonomiya either. What? I think he was chosen only because his shop was on Seiryu clan turf. Mabuchi just needed there to be an untimely death of someone connected to the Seiryu. And anyone who reacted to it would serve as his spark for war. Mia and all of us are the 
pawns in Mabuji's scheme, but I mean, it could have been anyone. At least we're alive. No, no, Mia is dead. Yep. Just because Mabuji needed a roundabout way to start a war. You must have heard the old secret about how to win wars. Force your enemy to act first. God damn it, Adachi san. You say all we did was help Mabuchi's plans? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that evil bastard has to pay. No way am I gonna let everything go according to his plan. Cool it, Kasuga. We need to stay calm right now. Yeah. Mabuchi's obviously a sharp guy. So let's not do anything rash. Fuck that! I'm not standing around and letting him win! Uh... Look, you might believe in that old shit about letting the enemy act first to win the war. But my Anaki taught me different. He said whoever makes the first move is the victor. The guy with steel balls wins! <laughs> Look, you need to chill out. It's Sachan. It's so funny. We can stop this war. We just gotta tell the Seiryu captain what's going on. For real? You wanna mess around in gang warfare? Namba-san, would you rather let it happen and then we get blamed for the whole thing? I'm not down with letting it happen. Nonomiya wouldn't be either if he were here. Fine. And you, Adachi san? Well, it would piss me off to allow that slick fuck the last laugh. All right, then there's no time to waste. Off to restaurant row. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
Pretty good.
Yo. going up. Your problem! 
That's Takabe! Hey! Hold on! <clears throat> Cuz, why the hell are you here? Because you're getting played, man! <sighs> and the player is Lao Ma. You know, Mabuchi. He killed the owner of Otohime Land and made it look like a suicide. This woman heard it happen over the phone with her own ears. I did. I heard a struggle and men shouting, Lauma. Which gave us a lead we followed to Mabuchi's trading company. We got jobs working at the Liu Mong warehouse. And then you were captured, and apparently you claimed you were Seiryu spies. Mabuchi sent it to me. He's using that video to start a war. We never claimed to be Siryu. In fact, I told him over and over again we're not. I think he even believed me, but he didn't give a shit. I know that doesn't make sense, but I'll explain. As long as he pretends to think that we're Siryu, he can claim he was just defending himself against an attack from your clan. <sighs> it's all a bunch of bullshit to start a war. He's planting fake evidence that the Seiryu clan broke the rules of the truce. Would you see? If you fight him, you're playing right into his hand. <sighs> yeah, I know all that. Huh? Don't worry. I'll take Mabuchi down once I've eliminated all my other enemies. But uh, what I'm trying to say is... I mean, don't you want to avoid... I'm fine with starting a war. What? I'll take a war. For the sake of Tetsu and Kochi, they were two young recruits, just boys, really. Boys who, in the end, had more bullets in them than years of life. Mabuchi was there when they were murdered. But it wasn't just him. Seven Liamong bastards unloaded their clips on two unarmed kids. <coughs> Here we are, outside the restaurant owned by the Liamong boss. Because I need an explanation for Tetsu and Kochi's death. The souls of those boys demand an apology. If that's all you want from him, why'd you bring the guns? Good point. I better make use of mine. Takabe-san, we're not armed. So? So you know you can't just shoot us. There's no honor in that. And you have no reason to kill us anyway. Am I wrong? If so, tell me your reason for shooting me. <clears throat> if you shoot me, you bring shame to the entire Seiryu clan. Tetsu and Koji's deaths would be overshadowed by yet another unjust killing. <clears throat> I know words alone won't make you back down. That's not your style. But... I ain't the type to back down either. If you want to kill me, you better do it in one shot. Why's that? Because if you miss, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I think that rat's nest of hair is smothering your brain. You are stupid. Dangerously annoying me and my crew. 
By the way, I'm sorry I'm making a commotion in somebody else's house, but I accept the consequences. We'll fight, as long as there are no guns. Kasuga, shut up and fight! Not a loser! Get ready! You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Check this out! Desperate times call for desperate battle! Okay. Who's that? I'm not that down. Have fun with this. Oh, this hurts. Right. Get out of here. Hey, we got a problem. Huh? The boss from the restaurant is here. The boss? You know, Zhao, leader of the Yokohama Liu Mon. So he's the top guy. 
He could be the reason Mabuchi's pulling all this shit. Including the hit on Nonomiya. Xiao might be giving all the orders. You know, Mabuchi sent me an interesting video. Yeah. You're the star in it, aren't you? I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. I know you're with the Seiryu clan. Yeah! You're damn straight! They edited the damn video! I'm not with the Seiryu clan! Oh, you're not, are you? Then why the hell would you be tailing Mabuchi in the first place? Because... <laughs> Careful now. No lies. Hey, stop! Choose some quick, wise words now. I'm a busy man. It's exactly what Kasuga said. Our boss was killed, and we followed the clues to Mabuchi. Yeah, this whole thing is Mabuchi's fault. He used us to pin a false accusation on the Seiryu clan. So you're laying all of this at Mabuchi's feet. You're basically slandering my right-hand man right now, you know? Hard to believe he'd suddenly go rogue on me. And he's just as busy as I am, not the type of guy with time to scheme. He's only busy because he's trying to start wars. Don't you get it? I mean, isn't it a little weird that your right-hand man is nowhere in sight? Have you even talked to him since you saw that video? That's a good point, Zhao-san. If you don't know where Mabuchi is, doesn't that make you look bad? Excuse me? Uh, think about it. If Mabuchi ain't answering his own boss's calls, could that mean he was fanning the flames of war? And now he's holed up somewhere waiting to watch it burn? He hasn't just gone rogue. He's betrayed you. And I walk out into a fucking sermon? Call it whatever you want. As long as you get it through your head, we're not to blame here. And deep down, you know that. Did you think that sounded cool, Grandpa? You're shit at this. <clears throat> You know, I wouldn't mind killing all of you right here, right now. Everyone who played a role in this sorry story dies, right down to the captain. I'd say that's a textbook opening move for a war. Well, stop talking about it and do it then. Fuck Mabuchi! He gunned down two young Seiryu clan boys in cold blood! So as far as I'm concerned, this war has already begun. Hey, shut up, both of you! You guys really think a war is the way to go? You think that'll turn out well? Don't be stupid! You can stop this! Or do you like being Mabuchi's little pawns? Was I not clear? I don't like sermons. Well, that's not what I'm calling it. Consider it a formal complaint. And a real leader ought to shut up and listen when there's a complaint. <laughs> oh, should I, huh? Ichiban Kasuga, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm all ears. But first, I want you to answer a question. Shoot. Why would Manuji try to start a war in Ijincho in the first place? How in the goddamn world does that benefit him? How the fuck should I know? What a surprise. And in regards to that soap landowner, do you know for sure that Mabuchi killed him? Yeah, he straight up told me when I asked him. Ah. Well, I'm not buying it. Which means this discussion's over. Look, man, I saw it in his eyes. That dude's a murderer! Raising your voice isn't gonna make me change my mind. Wait! Shooting him drags us all into a war, while Mabuchi watches somewhere safe and sound! Is that what you want? What would that even accomplish? You'll kill a man without even knowing that? 
I'll say it as many times as it takes, Zhao. Mabuchi planned all of this, and he's out there laughing in the shadows. If you start this war, your whole organization will be stained with that forever. Look, <laughs> Kasuga-kun, I don't think you're lying, Shet. I think you'd be terrible at it. Hmm. But just because you're not lying doesn't mean it's true. I need proof before I act. I gotta think like a leader, right? And that means setting a fucking example. At the very least, I need evidence that Mabuchi killed the soap landowner. That's where the whole thing started, after all. According to you. Mm -hmm. So she heard Lao Ma over the phone. That's all you've got. Isn't that enough? Hell no, it's not. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not really sure I want to get them involved. Who's them? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh, the web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh, the web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju? Yeah. If someone really is trying to fuck with the Ijin 3's balance of power. That someone being Mabuchi, as you claim. There's no way the Komiju don't know about it. Information is what they trade in. It's practically their currency. <sighs> He's right. Ijin Cho's got lots of people willing to sell secrets. And if you follow each secret long enough, they all end up in Komiju. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. But whatever their system, the info is always 100% accurate. <laughs> it's incredible, really. Doesn't seem real. I'm not saying you have to use the Komi Jewel to find evidence of your Mabuchi theory. If you got other ideas, fine. Just prove to me that Mabuchi killed your boss. I'll let the captain here live until you return. Hmm. By the way, don't even think about running. If so much as your pinky toe crosses the Ichincho border, the captain dies. And I still wouldn't be satisfied. So your friends and your family would be next. Wait, what the hell's with that? Don't argue, Sachan. These guys don't do logic or compassion. Honestly, I want an answer just as bad as you all do. If Mabuchi really has betrayed me, then my gang's gonna be split down the middle. Neither the Seiryu clan nor the Komiju is gonna be thrilled about that. But that's why I need contingency plans. You see now? All the shit I gotta deal with. Man, I sure hope Mabuchi's innocent. But of course, then I'd have to kill you all. <laughs> Painfully. No complaints, I hope. <laughs> no need to be all giddy about it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go find proof that Mabuchi killed your soap landowner. Kasuga, I don't think we have a choice. <sighs> I know. You're probably aware, but the Komi Jewel don't fuck around. So be careful. Finding the evidence won't do any good if you're dead. You almost sound like you care. Kasago, we really gotta get moving. And fast. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Huh. Yo.
That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourselves. Right. Mm-hmm. 